Hi there, this is Tracy Bradley, and I'm really excited today to show you how to make this flower. It's called the Dahlia Fold, and it's pretty easy to make. So we will make the entire card, but I'm mostly going to focus on how to make this flower. Now I used uh, the new Stampin' Up! paper called Frosted Floral, and I don't know if you can see it in here, but it's on shimmery white paper, and it's just beautiful. Every single um, pattern is on this paper very pretty so let's go ahead what we're going to need well for the base of your card you're going to need a piece of mint macaron that measures 11 by four and a quarter and i've scored it at five and a half a piece of whisper white that measures five and a quarter by four and i used the striped scallops to emboss it and i already went ahead and did that so that's for the base and then i used blackberry bliss right here and then I stamped it in Blackberry Bliss using the stamp set Thank Thankful Thoughts. And I used the thank you right here. This is nice because the whole set is uh, sentiments to say thank you. I already went ahead and stamped and punched that out. I punched these out using the layering ovals framelits. Very nice set to have in your craft room. And I used these two together. So that's ready. So now we're, we'll work on making the flower. And you're going to need um, paper that has a really nice design on both sides because you're going to see both of them. Not all papers uh, work really well. And you're going to cut this out with a 1 and 3 fourths inch circle punch. Now I've gone ahead and made a really large circle so that I can show you how to do this. It's a little hard to see on the little, the little circle. So what you're going to do is fold it in half, and this is a lot more difficult with the cardstock. When you use a designer series paper, uh, it's, it's easier. So then you either you can open it up and fold it in half, or I like to just go like that and fold it. Like I said, it's so much easier with a designer series paper. So you just have your four, your four sections, okay? Now I've gone ahead and taken a pen and marked it so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to hold, fold it in half again because I have found that this is just easier to do this way. You're going to take this piece here and fold it up. Let me just show you. You want to do it as far over here as you can and as far over on that side. So let me show you. So do you see what I did? All right, so I just took that piece up to there. Now, because I have the lines, it's pretty easy to see. But when you're using a designer series paper, I find that if I do fold it like this, that it's a lot easier for me to do it correctly. So now this one, you'll do the same thing. All right, so that's what it looks like now. Now we're going to turn it over and you're going to take this piece here to the center. And again, with the designer series paper, I find it easier to go like that. And then I can take it right to the center and I know exactly where I'm going. All right, but if not, you would just take it up like that. And you have to be careful when you're using your paper that you're not overworking it with all the folding. And then you take this same one or the other side and bring it to the center. And there's your piece. All right, and then you do eight of those. So let's go ahead now and we'll do the designer series, designer series paper, but actually let me just show this to you again. So you started like this, you took this piece up and this piece, all right? Then we turned it over and brought that piece to the center and that piece to the center. Easy peasy, right? All right, so let's go ahead and do it with this. So the first thing I'm going to do is fold my paper into quarters. And I'm going to do it so that I, when I start out that my design is going you know, up and down the, the way that I like. So I'm going to just fold that in half and fold it in half. Then I'll open it. Now, I want this design to be showing on the outside here. So what I'm going to do is start on this side, all right? I want to 
fold isn't good there. So now I'm going to fold this like this and I'm going to bring that piece up. Turn it over and do it on the other side. Okay, just a minute. I want to make sure my design's going the right way. So I actually need to be over here. Again, take that up to there. Now the other thing you can do is as I'm folding it, I can match it to the one that's over there. Now I'm going to open it up, turn it over, and then bring this piece to the center and this piece here to the center. And there's my first piece. Yay! Let's do one more. So I'm going to fold this in half. Oops, I want to do it so that my pattern is going the correct way. Fold it in half again. Open it up. Turn it over. Okay, take this piece. Bring this piece up. Okay, now I want to make sure with this pattern that I'm doing it the right way. Okay, so I want to now take this piece over here. All right, open it up, turn it over, and then bring this piece to the middle. And there's our second piece. All right, now what I need is a base to put all these on. So I'm going to bring in my mint macaron and I'm going to use the two inch circle punch. And this will be the base for the flowers. So, and the other thing that I like to do is I like to fold this piece in half or into quarters and put a pencil mark in the center so that I know that um, this is going to be right in the center. So you'll, you'll glue it down and then you'll just keep adding all the pieces like that. Pretty easy, isn't it? So I'm going to finish making the rest of these and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I've made all eight pieces and I'm ready to glue it onto my two inch circle. So I'm going to use our multi-purpose glue. This isn't always my first choice uh, of adhesive. But the nice thing with this is that um, you have some wiggle room when you're putting your pieces on. But I would recommend not using a lot or it's going to start oozing out. So you're going to take your first piece, put where the circle is there, and push it down. Now I like to lift these up when, when I'm doing it so I can get it nice and close. So then you take your second one right next to it. See, you can move it around if you had a different adhesive like tear and tape or even snail. Once it was down, it would be there. So let's put this one Oops, right next to it. And I'm, I'm making sure that the center is where my circle is, my pencil circle, my pencil dot. So I'm making sure it's right next to it there and that I'm getting that center center in. All right, so we've got half of them. I'll put this one. And each one that you're going to make is going to look different with the different papers and the patterns. I love making these. Okay, now I have them all down and then you just kind of play around with where all these little edges are going. And there's our flower. Isn't that just beautiful? I love it. It looks like that on the back. So let's go ahead and put our card together. We'll put our embossed piece Boss piece down. And 
then our sentiment. And I'm going to add some Stampin' Dimensionals to the back. Just kind of see where where I want it. I'll put it here. And then you can use the glue again or snail. I think I'll just use use the glue. And you just want to put it on the circle. And with that shimmer in the paper, it's gorgeous. So here we go, we're all finished, and it really doesn't take that long to make. You just gotta get that folding down. I hope you'll give this a try. Take care and have a have a great day. Bye-bye.